There we go. Wow, I literally had to rest in that spot. Oh, so nice. Still feels like oh, I'm dreaming. Oh, good morning. What? Ooh, yeah, what there we go. Clothing reveal. <laughs> so, how do we look? Amazing. We changed into summer clothes. Although we didn't come here to have fun, I gotta we say, miss out on a beautiful summer thank day. goodness that see? Barbara's outfit is free. <laughs> This because look weird, does it? No, you look amazing, <sighs> Jean, and but clothing definitely Barbara's outfit <laughs> does look better. Uh, and you know, it's, it's strange. Me. Although, her outfit won't be free until um, this event is over, but they're giving us like 30 plus days. Uh, basically, the duration of 1.6 is when Barbara's outfit will be free. But Jean, you have to pay for that. Uh, but my god, yeah, exactly. You look marvelous, Jean. Really? <sighs> Of Thank course, you, anytime. I mean, you know, I, I like you, Jean. I like you, Jean. But your outfit, too expensive. Too ex I'm sorry, too expensive. But Barbara, thank goodness that hers is free. Guys, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. Her, her outfit is so cute. It's surprising that Master Jean would specially pack summer clothes. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, my big sister would never pack these herself. Lisa and I picked them out for her. Lisa has good taste, I gotta say. I have big sister and not even realizing it? Barbara's drunk on summer already. <laughs> oh my god. There's quite a story behind these summer clothes. I thought Lisa's pouch was to be used for an emergency. I didn't expect it to contain oh. a set of summer clothing. So that's what was in the pouch. All these accessories okay. too. Definitely wow. Lisa's handiwork. Yo, Lisa really thought ahead. Everyone in the Knights of Favonius is always trying to have me take leave. I suppose I do push myself too much. Everyone, come over here. Oh, that's right, Clee. Oh, that's Clee's voice. Totally forgot about I saw her. saw something weird. We were so mesmerized by Barbara and Jean's outfit huh? that we What's totally forgot on? about Clee. What do you mean by something weird? Look at the ocean. See? There's something weird floating on the water. That narrow device. It seems to be a buoy. Okay, so a buoy. Hmm. All right, so if you don't know, uh, if you were watching the live stream uh, on my main account, you would know that I've already, like, destroyed one of these things. And I was afraid. I'm like, wait a second. Uh, was I supposed to do that? I, you know, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, we didn't hopefully, see anything when we arrived hopefully here nothing yesterday. bad will happen when I go back to my main account. <gasps> Dodo King must have put them there. Really? Strange devices that just appear overnight? That is strange. What, what? Something doesn't add up. Yo, the music, though. Again, I mentioned this in the live stream, but my god, the music is amazing already. I well, love since it. Since he hasn't revealed himself to us, does that mean he's changed his mind? Or maybe, maybe these buoys are a clue and he's waiting for me to find him. Wow. Please. You're so adorable. So you could that so be adorable. why these buoys have suddenly appeared? Let's take a closer look and find out. We won't solve anything by guessing on shore. Is it okay to go out there, though? Perhaps. Well, it should be fine, I think. But we must investigate the buoys regardless. It's hard to say what will be waiting for us at sea. Just in case, prepare yourselves for combat. Once you Got are it. ready, please assemble here, and we'll head over on the boat together. She's reliable, even in summer wear. Uh, not at all. This is just my duty. Now then, I'll entrust the preparation efforts to all of you. Got it. All right. So this is how part two starts off. Oh, how many parts are there, though? Are there really just three parts? Because part three did come out on this past Monday. Uh, so yeah, real quick, again, just to, so I can add here. So once again, this is my free-to-play account, just so you don't get confused. That was a transition from my main account to a free-to-play account. So uh, what was I going to say? Right, so you know how I normally do live streams with my main account. The last time I did a live stream was me editing one of my latest videos on YouTube, which will be probably linked somewhere, probably the card up there. So it was that prediction video, uh, where more like a character overview of the new Inazuma characters, but yeah. So normally on Tuesdays, I do live stream on free-to-play account, and I haven't done that, and I've kind of left a lot of things undone. So before I could do this event, do you know what I had to do? So basically, I had to do the Dark Knight hero, the Dark Knight, uh, the Dark... The Dark Knight Heroes Alibi. 
I had to do that Dilu quest, basically. I had to do the, uh, the Klee quest as well. So the Dark Knight Heroes... No, I had to do Razors as well, so I had to do three of those story quests. So that's basically already done with. Uh, Shinchus, <sighs> thank goodness I didn't have to do because that's basically in Liyue. Uh, nothing to do with Mondstadt. But, yeah, so it took me a while to actually catch up to here. That was basically a speed run of all of those. I did intend to save those for a future live stream, but you know what? It is what it is. Water under the bridge. So that was basically, what, Diluc story quest, uh, Razor story quest, and then, of course, Klee story quest to finally unlock 1.6 Midsummer Adventure on my free-to-play account. So, yeah, here we are. So let's continue. Oh, boy. So, Klee, 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 Klee. I'm to bring Jumpy Dumpties, Doloko, and myself. Let's find out about the summer. I like summer, but not just summer. I also like fall. Oh, yes, and I also like spring and winter. Well, you got Even me there. Winter is very cold. I have Jumpy Dumpty. Whenever I feel cold, I blow something up. Wow. I mean, yo, Klee. Let me find out where you are in the winter, because I hate the winter. I hate the winter with a passion. Spring, I'm okay with it. Fall, I guess I'm also okay with it. But it's a strong like for summer and a very strong dislike for winter. But yeah, Klee, let me find out where you hang out in the winter time, because I need you to blow stuff up around me too so I can stay warm. Oh, I hate it when it's cold. I love the snow, but I hate the cold. All right, so that was that. Hmm, I need to bring so about the boys. To place those things in the ocean. He's a bad guy. Oh, she was pointing over there. Yo, look at that. But I will bravely face him and do my best for Dodoko. Oh, God, Mr. you're so Anwar cute. Mr. Knight, thank you for helping me. Anytime, Klee, anytime. All right, so Jean. <laughs> What could those buoys possibly mean? Buoys, buoys, buoys. Uh, but your summer uh, clothes. Summer clothes. They're a. They were a surprise that Lisa prepared for me. My guess is that it was originally Barbara's suggestion. Oh yeah, I can totally see that Barbara's Barbara suggesting that. Barbara said that it's so rare for us to get a chance to come to an island. We should change into summer clothing to set the atmosphere. That was good thinking on both Barbara and Jean, though. I mean, not Jean. Lisa. However, I'm not used to this style of clothing. <sighs> I hope wearing this doesn't look too odd. It looks great on you, but you know, it's too expensive. I'm sorry. I hate, to, I hate complaining this much, but honestly, honest to goodness, it's just too expensive. I'm sorry, Jeannie. All right, what, what is could those buoys possibly about this mean? Ar about this archipelago. <laughs> These islands are isolated from the outside world. Like a secret domain crafted by nature itself. It could be uh, It could be also related to like Mirage Islands or islands that just disappear. <gasps> you know what it is? I just thought about this. Uh, it, it's various stories. Various stories bring this up like the Lost City. This is not the Lost City. Someone, someone in Mondstadt or is it Leo? He talks about looking for a lost city, and he just brings up, like, yeah, there's a lost city in the sea or something. I don't know, and I've been looking for it, and I'm like, interesting, okay. It might not be at the sea, but he does mention the lost city, but what if... What if that these islands were actually submerged, and because they suddenly appear, it's like because the tide is going down or something? I'm not sure what it is, but, uh, yeah. Given how these islands are going to disappear in 12 days... I'm assuming that it's going to be because of plot, something's going to happen, and the islands are just going to disappear for story reasons, you know? Plot. Plot devices. We were guided here by the letter, and with the assistance of Venti and Devalin. Everything seems a bit too serendipitous. I'm a little concerned, but I'm here to protect you all, so please don't worry. Come what may, I will face it head on. All right. That was you. Oh, oh, there's, there's Boobra. So, you know, there's a few characters in the game that do this kneeling pose and whatnot. And it's my absolute favorite because I can do this. I'll show you a magic trick here. You know, there you go. There you go. Yep. A good angle. A good angle right there. You know what else you can do? I don't have the regular instant camera yet. I haven't unlocked it, which is why you're seeing the other one. I got, for some reason, that one unlocked first instead of the regular one. 
So I'm gonna see whenever I can get, you know, the the regular camera. But yeah, you can do all this. All this stuff here. Uh let me see here. Perfect. Yes. Barbara is our model for today, so let's just take a take a quick few snapshots without the traveler being shown in the background, of course. Although you can still kind of see him if you know where I, where I move the character to and whatnot. Uh, well, you know, uh, the new swimsuit, the new beach weird outfit that she has, it does hide the boobas, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Her outfit is amazingly cute, and it's amazing that we can get this one for free. Now, I'm assuming going forward, this is how Mehoyo is going to do things regarding the outfits. Again, I cannot stress this enough. They could do better on the price. Like, at least cutting it in half, but even then, I think it would be too expensive. I mean... There's many games out there, and I don't want to compare it, of course, to the, the premium ones like Valorant that apparently also has expensive skins. Uh, that Avengers game that came out like last year that also has like $16 for for just a, a skin that, again, adds nothing. It's just a, it's just a regular skin. I don't know why, what, what went through to their minds. Oh my god, at least this game is not like a loot box thing, but you know, there is gotcha and RNG involved, so it's ridiculous. They... It would have been, it would have been bad if they added it as a gotcha as well, because then it's like you, you're still spending a lot, you know, like to get your five star character, you at least have to spend either a hundred plus dollars to get the guaranteed uh, five star character, at least one constellation, not one constellation, but just a C zero, right? And that's if you win the 50 50. So putting a, a skin on a gotcha, that would have. You know, people would have still been spending, and that would have been even more expensive. Then you'd have to get lucky to pull a skin and whatnot. But, yeah, it's still too expensive. Uh, but thankfully, you know, if they have events like this where they add some outfits that are going to be free when you do complete the event, that'll be nice as well. Though, unfortunately, those who have missed the event in the future will have to pay for these outfits for the full price. Because I believe that outfit is going to be full price along with jeans but yeah i hope for in the future that they actually do lower the price at least like come on mihoyo please please mihoyo anyway uh we were still doing the photo shoot of barbara right let me see how i can do it it's quite challenging to hide oh my god look at that angle oh yeah Oh, that is the perfect angle. Oh, my God. Ooh -wee. I'm telling you, man. Uh, jeans, uh, Barbara's outfit. Cute. Cute. Love it. Maybe I can do a different angle. Come on. Aether. Zach. Stop. Right there, right there, right there. That, that looks good, too. But I need to be a little further away. Dang it. All right, that's perfect right there as well, right? That looks good. You're most likely going to see the other uh, screenshots of this from the PlayStation as well. If I do include them in the video while, I don't know, just putting some nice music over it and whatnot. <laughs> oh, man, this is amazing. I love this. Uh, I'm going to see if I can include this as well. It's going to be a while before I edit this video, so I'm not sure when exactly you're seeing this, but yeah. <laughs> okay, that's enough of the photo op. With Is there Barbara. anything I can do? All right, about your summer clothes. How do I look? Not bad, right? Of course, not I bad. I wanted to surprise everyone, so I specifically chose an outfit complimenting an island atmosphere. Oh, but please don't worry. Even if I'm wearing summer clothes, I'm still just as reliable in battle. All right, so I wonder again if for future events. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do? So, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna do this. Oh, I'll, I just I'll talk about that, that another time. The ocean here is beautiful. Sea and sun. 
Oh, a summer dream come true. I really want to have a seaside performance. It would be amazing. I just know it. Uh, one other thing I was also bringing up during the live stream is that we need we needed better um well not better I don't want to say that but different different hairstyles to complement the outfits as well. Jean I guess is okay and whatnot, but you know different hairstyles it would have made this uh, even much better. I, I wouldn't have felt so bad making the purchase on my main account for the Jean outfit. So yeah, there's that as well. Have you finished your preparations? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. Let's go. Let's get on the boat. Uh, so, yeah, so I sped run this on my uh, alt account, so I'm going to be doing, on my alt account, I'm, either I'll live stream this as well, just exploring the islands too, but I'm already going to do that on my main account, so I don't really need to do that for my free to play account. My free to play account, when the next time you see me live stream it, is, I'm going to do the, what did I say I was going to do last time? I don't remember, but I think I'm going to continue focusing on the world quests, and, uh, yeah, basically, I'm going to start clearing out the quests, and then I'm going to focus on the Liyue puzzles. I need to unlock the rest of the teleport waypoints. I think I, I think I already got them, but the domains as well. I need to unlock domains, and, yeah, the rest of the puzzles. That's what I'm going to do next time for the free-to-play account here, so let me see. I'll talk about more of that at the end, though. Because right now, we, we need to focus. Again, like I said, I was speedrunning through this to finally get to part two to catch up to my main account. And on my own time, I'll be farming and grinding whatever I need to do here. Where's the boat at? Where, where am I going? There we go. I don't know why it's so far away. Come on. You let me get wet. Uh, what does that sound? Oh, what? I did not mean to do that. So we are supposed to destroy it? It looks like something sunk down to the seabed. Maybe it's the buoy's energy that released when it was destroyed. So they really were set up by Dodo King. Let's keep going. I guess I was supposed to. Oh, but you know what? Wait. So because it wasn't part of the quest... Nothing happened, because I destroyed it. On my main account, I destroyed one of them, and I got scared, and I kind of just stopped, and I kind of just went to explore. Will Dodo King appear after we break them all? I doubt it. I think that's a shell somewhere up there. I missed one? That must be what keeps on appearing on the map. I'm definitely going to search for all those shows. I'm not paying. This is a free-to-play account. I'm not paying for any skin. So that's going to be unfortunate for those who are free-to-play. Like, they're going to miss out on a lot. Like, they're only going to be able to buy... Well, not even buy, but get free, squin, uh, free skins. Back to shore. I was about to dash back. I'm like, back to shore? Let me go back. The sound... I don't hear anything. Oh, now I do. Oh no, Barbara! Wait. I knew it! I knew it! So that's what it was! What's happening? What did I tell you? Huh? Honestly, wow. So now there's even more to explore? Oh my god. There, there's a lot I gotta do in my main account. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's going on here? This part of the ocean is way too mysterious. Wait a minute, so I knew it. Okay. I was literally just saying that early, like, maybe these islands were never there because they were submerged underwater, and then after some time, they re-emerge uh, from underneath the water, you know, like, again, this is in different stories and whatnot. What? So there's a lot more 
And, you know, it also did look too plain. I thought I really was only going to go around and destroy the hilly troll encampment and whatnot, but... Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, then. I can't wait to get back on my main account. Of course, like I said, let me just, let me just continue. Uh, I'm too excited. This whole stretch of land just rose out of the water. <laughs> Dodo King, Dodo King, oh, I'm going to catch you. <laughs> oh, I definitely got to do a screen cap of that face right there. Looks like Kree's as energetic as ever. So I got to remind myself again when I'm on uh, Premiere Pro Before to do that. Before the ground started shaking, I heard the sound of machinery. Oh. I believe there may be an immense mechanical structure under this region of the ocean. Really? I, I did not hear that at all. All I heard was, I guess, the water rushing, I guess. I don't know. With the entire archipelago situated on a mechanical framework, it could oh. be activated to raise each island from beneath the water. Oh, I thought it was more of a natural thing that was happening. Like, you know, because it does happen when the tide increases... Uh, part of the land does get uh, submerged underwater, so I don't know. Something like that would be nothing short of a miracle. Could it be the power of the animal Rah. Archon Barbados? I don't think he has anything to do with this. Mm, probably not. Paimon feels like this is more likely a deliberate setup. All right, I guess I was. I guess I was wrong then. I, I thought. I mean, you know, but 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 the islands did come out from underwater, and I did say like maybe this was submerged, and now. Something happened and they reemerged. So that part technically was true, but for the wrong reasons. It's incredible, no matter how you think of it. Using a letter to draw us here, and these challenges involving various mechanisms. <sighs> the so called Dodo King is no amateur. Yes, I agree with Jean. Aww. There goes the holiday mood. Oh my god, look at that face. That's another screen cap right there. Hmm. Well, either way, I will do my best to remain vigilant. Wow. Master Jean's so cool when she's determined. Hyman and I will also exercise increased Thank caution. Thank you for your understanding. I found him! It's Dolo King! Really? He's over there on that island! <laughs> gotcha! Really? I don't see anything. You wanted Klee to come find you? Klee has good Klee eyesight. Comes. Jumpy Dumpties, get ready! Let's oh my go! God. There's a lot of screen cap worthy Is moments that here. A platform in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, but I didn't see anything there. She says it's over there, and I'm I'm imagining the Dodo King to be the big, a big version of Jumpy Dumpty or something, something like that. Something has appeared. Everyone, we can take a closer look, but please be on guard. Right. Oh wait. Oh, ho, 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 I can't interact with this anymore because the water is... Oh, snap. Okay. Right, because it's, the water is not nearby anymore, so I can't spawn it. If it were to spawn, it were, if it were to spawn here, it would crash down and uh, explode or something like that. Oh, boy, this was not a good idea. Psych. Psych. I know what I'm doing. Oh, there's a shell somewhere here. Okay, there's a lot of enemies. I'm going to do this in my own time. Uh, we are gonna go straight ahead to complete the story and whatnot. Again, like I said, I'm catching up to my main account. Well, actually, technically, I am already caught up with my main account. I could really just go stream it here, but again, it was due to some technical errors. I was already recording and whatnot, so... Yeah, so you're gonna see a bit, a bit of a weird jump. Oh, what am I doing? The boat. Where's the boat? Where am I swimming? Right, so we're gonna head straight towards that island. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, this was in an attempt to catch up to my main account in terms of the event. So, you know, you're gonna see the cut back to my main account to complete the event. So you won't be seeing more of my free-to-play account doing this, but the next time, again, like I said earlier, the next time I do live stream on my free-to-play account will be for just doing the puzzles in Leela, you know, with the whole done you ruins, the ruins, we're gonna do the ruins, the ruins world quest, and try to see anything else we can do there, this is gonna be like more of a chill stream, but the net, uh, yeah, whenever you're seeing this, I'm not sure when you're seeing this, 
I still don't see anything on this island. Oh, we need a teleport waypoint here, too. No. Oh, I can activate that from the boat. Should have told me. We go to that teleport waypoint, too. Ooh, there's another shell here as well. Wait a second. What? No way. I'm not ready. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I have to fight this guy now? Because I'm, I'm technically still on part two, right? I, I thought this boss unlocked in the third part. Uh, I mean... Oh... Yep, Everyone, look at that Oni mask. Careful. That's definitely an Oni mask. I'm kind of nervous right now. I didn't switch to my main DPS team. Dang it. Uh, is it just Paimon, or is that a really tall person? What? It resembles a human, but something's not quite right. Really? Dodo King, I see you. You can, uh, arb... Ar arb... <laughs> Arbitrate. Oh my right. god. You can arbitrate Klee. That's another screenshot worthy face right there. Uh screen. Oh my god, Klee, you're so cute. Uh, what is this kid saying? She obviously doesn't understand what that word means. Hey Dodo King, why are you ignoring me? It's interesting. Paimon said that's a really tall person. How can you tell? Is it because I took too long and made you angry? Then I'm sorry. Oh my god, really? Klee is such an innocent little girl. Huh? And now she's apologizing? Oh, didn't see that coming. Yeah, she... Klee is all over the place. Hello, Dodo King? It looks like they're not interested in Klee at all. So that it's jiggle? Some kind of humanoid yeah, I think you're machine. slick, Mihoyo. No response. It must be damaged. Oh, do you recognize it? No, I can only guess. It looks completely out of place on this island. Look at its clothes. Huh, it appears like it came from Inazuma. Okay. Inazuma? But isn't that really far away? It would appear so. This area of the sea is independent and does not border any country, so it certainly seems out of place here. But given Inazuma's current situation, how could something like this occur? Oh, so Jean also knows of Inazuma's current situation. Hmm. An abandoned machine? Interesting. Weird. Did someone bring it here? Oh no, Dodo King isn't moving anymore. Klee, maybe Dodo King is tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why does she feel like... Why does it seem like she's worried? Like, she came here to challenge Dodo King, didn't she? And now, upon seeing that he's not moving and whatnot, it's like, oh no, it's not moving. What's happening? Right, right! The Dodo King is probably asleep. He was waiting so patiently for you, and then... Ah! Nap time. I gotta say, Klee is just so... Her innocence is too... Too pure and blinding. I mean, in a good way, kind of. You know, not in a bad way, like, oh my god, I can't take this. But it, like, wow. It just adds to her being so adorable and so cute. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? Let's go with Klee to play elsewhere and come back wow. once Dodo King wakes up. So the way Barbara was what well. You see, you know what it is with Barbara? You know why I love this outfit so much? Is because we usually see her in her basically her white dress veil right uh what is she again the deaconess her deaconess outfit and we don't get to see much of her hips and her thighs so yeah very much appreciated for that that's why i like barbara's outfit the best because jean you know she's showing more skin in her legs uh but i guess i would like jean's outfit better because of course you know dandelion tights uh her pants are very tight and you know it really not, it really captures the curves very well. Here, 
We got to see that hip sway with Barbara. I'm like, whoa, Barbara, calm down. There's kids here. Really? Of course. No, I get it now. This isn't Dodo King. The real Dodo King is somewhere else. Oh, she put that together real fast. Huh, is that right? <laughs> Look at Jean, it's like, okay. How were you able to deduce that, huh? I won't give up. Dodo King, just wait. We'll find you. And All right, there, there she, she goes. goes. Again. <laughs> oh, she's got a lot of spirit. Oh my god, yo, me and Paimon, we're on the same wavelength. I love that. I love Paimon. Please, wait for us. Uh, where are we going now? Examine my environment. It was a, oh, what is this? Honorary Knight, look here. Huh? What's this? Oh, it looks like one of those, uh, like the gravestones that they would do. You know, again, uh, my the recent, my most recent memory is Ghost of Tsushima, and you see a lot of this. Look at these so when someone passes away, flowers. so this is basically an Inazuma tradition. So where was here? It feels like a memorial for someone. Yeah. Hey, you're embarrassing me. Aw, Barbara, so cute. Hmm. But the only other thing around here is that machine in Inazuma clothing. Oh, could they might the be related. Be for the machine? I don't know. Uh, but perhaps there's... it once performed some deed that merited a memorial. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to be for one person or three people. That that part I'm not sure about. Hmm. Everything we've seen here indicates that there was once a human presence in these waters. Still, there isn't enough for us to infer what kind of civilization it was. Yeah, uh, definitely from the conch. I don't have all the stories yet, but I'm definitely going to see what happened. And up to now, we still have yet to see any people or gravestones. Mm -hmm. Except for this, that technically is a gravestone. Master Jean, can I go over there and have a look? Yes, but be careful. Okay. How many secrets does these islands hold? Lee is too young to have a proper sense of danger. Traveler, the rest of us must stay alert to the situation. Honestly speaking, I thought that letter was only a prank at first. That's what we thought! I suspected as much too, but who would send a prank letter to a child? I mean, I don't know. I, you know, initially I thought, again, maybe Kaya. I thought maybe it was Kaya who did this, but this seemed way too... I don't know, too calculated for it to be Kaya. It couldn't be Klee's mother, right? I mean, again, Klee's mother, Alice, is supposed to be still in Tevat doing her whole, you know, the Tevat travel guide. So she's probably somewhere like, if I had to guess right now, she's probably somewhere in Sumeru, maybe Fontaine. I don't know, but yeah, I, I, I don't see it being Alice, but that's another possibility. So my guess is where Kaya, uh, because you know Kaya's history and every all the stories, that he fills Klee's head with, uh, then Alice would be the second guess. Uh, I'm not sure who else. It can't be Mona. Mona doesn't. Mona's too concerned about not having any Mora, so it, it, I don't see Mona even doing anything like this. So I honestly don't know. So Kaya and Alice so far. That's what I'm gonna say. A letter that guides us to activate mechanisms on a deserted archipelago. It's bizarre. It couldn't be one of the Fatui. No, but why Klee? That, that's, that doesn't make sense. That was stupid, but you know. <laughs> I'm throwing anything out there. I'm throwing a bone. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm throwing anything it out there. It makes me wonder whether this isn't some kind of trap long in the making. We must keep our guard up. Miss Barbara? Hey, Klee's back. Klee, what's wrong? Do you think that Dodo King doesn't want to see Klee? Wow. Why would the Dodo King not want to see you, Klee? Dodoko loves me, and and I love Dodoko, so Dodo King can never separate us. That's why Dodo King doesn't want to see us. Klee. <laughs> Klee doesn't want him to separate us. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
Making me tear up. Making me tear up here. So hey, sweet. Clee, do you know what this is? Oh. <gasps> it's a heart pastel. I heard my big si uh, Master Jean say that really? Clee always wanted to play Harpastum, right? Wait, so... So Ludi Harpastum is supposed to be... I thought it was a festival. Yeah, Clee was just thinking about Ludi Harpastum. I made this Harpastum especially for you. Now, every day can be Ludi Harpastum. <laughs> oh, so this Harpastum is used at the Ludi Harpastum, which is why... I literally just did Klee's story quest, so when she was talking about that, she was thinking about making a special Harpastum to use at the Ludi Harpastum, and she says, everybody can have fun now. Ludi Harpastum is definitely still a festival. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that was a great way to cheer her up. The, the kindness of a deaconess. So keep your chin up, Klee. After we meet Dodo King, we can all help you convince him to let you and Dodo Ko stay together. Okay. Let's double our efforts. We have to find him. Yeah! Leave it to us, Klee. This dodo jerk can't hide forever. Even if it takes a thousand years and a thousand searches. Uh, we'll get him. Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't think a Barbara, Jean, and Klee can live that long. Well, Klee, I don't know. Her race is not human, but uh, yeah, I don't know about Klee. But Barbara and Jean definitely not living that long. And the main traveler and Paimon are definitely much older. But until then, let's have a good look around the area. Oh, that's it? That was part two? Dodo King of the Sea, lying in wait. Alright, so this is where this part is going to conclude here. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube again, uh... You're gonna see me transition over to my main account now. I've now finally caught up. This is, uh, now I'm going to make an effort on my main account to get back to this exact point. Now I know some things are where they at. Again, this was mainly just to get my free-to-play account up to date on the event. That's what I kept saying. I know you're, I'm probably confusing myself even saying catch up to my main account. Uh, yes, but in terms of like the event, I want it to be at least in the event here and had the liberty to explore now which i now do have a lot of liberty to explore and do the events so i don't miss out on anything i'm gonna get the barbara skin on my free to play account just you wait but yeah uh with that being said uh look forward to another video remember to hit the like button subscribe